Hello. Hello. Hi, everybody. Hello. We're back again. Go to the game. The game is happening. Oh. Oh. The game is happening. The game is happening. The game is happening. Oh, God. The game is happening. I didn't expect this. Wait. I don't want the game to happen yet. Okay, wait. Wait, calm down. Okay. Wait, everyone chill. Everybody chill. Everybody calm down. Stream problems? Unheard of. Unheard of. Nice one. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. We got subs from Most Least and Titiana and Seismic Coin and Board Librarian and AJ Absolute. Thank you all so much for your subs. Thank you. Uh, we were getting some, like, insane frame drops, and it looks like we're still having problems. Oh, good. I'm really glad about that. We're still having problems. Um, I literally don't know why. I've checked everything, and I don't know why it's happening. So if uh, if there's frame drops and stuff, I apologize, because there definitely are a lot of them. Yeah. So we're going to just try to play, and hopefully it will even out. Yeah. And not get continually worse until we have to quit. Because our internet's doing fine. Yeah, I checked the internet speed, and the internet speed is fine. I checked my computer, and it's doing fine on all its processes and things. So I don't mm -hmm. know if, like, Twitch is having a problem or if Streamlabs is having a problem. Who knows? But it's telling me right now that my stream is having minor issues. We got a few subs. Thank you for everyone saying we look well lit. Who are you? That's all Jacob. I, I got a new light. That's all Jacob's hard work. And I'm going to get a second light, and we're going to be doubly well lit soon. Uh, we also just got subs from this old mountain. Thank you, this Who old mountain. You? Thank you. And wagon full of pancakes. Someone said they like my coat. It's a little cardigan that has tea on it, but it's a cardigan. Tiny Turtle said, don't cats lick those salt lamps? Ours don't. No, they don't. So it's it's been fine for us. They don't seem to be too interested. They in sniffed it. it once and then they weren't interested and at all. And they weren't interested, so we haven't been worrying about it. No. Nope. What they are interested in, if they, your name is Joy, is getting on the kitchen counter and eating whatever garbage is on there. She love egg. She love egg. She is. She love egg so much. She just, she's obsessed with egg, whether it's in the sink drain or not. So we've been uh, getting on top of that. Cat FM said, hello from New Zealand. You guys are funny and droppy. This is the first stream I've caught. Wow, all the way from New Zealand. Damn. Welcome, and thank you for tuning in. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, do you want to tell people about this game we're playing today? Yes. Um, I don't know much. I found out you about know this some. game. Yeah, I found out about this game because I turned on uh, Steam to check what games I had because we were thinking that maybe I would stream because we've missed a few Wednesdays. Um, so I, I turned on Steam to see what I had, and I found this game in my recommendeds, and uh, it's a game that came out last year. It's won a metric ton of awards, and it's a game where you are a detective, and you hear people talking in the room. It's like a top-down, so you see like a map of the room, of, of, you know, the scene or the area where the crime is taking place. And then you hear like people's conversations, and you have to keep track of who is saying what. Yeah. And then, you know, solve who did it, You're basically. hearing like conversations from the past. Yes, so... It's kind of Obradin-esque, if any of you guys watched mm -hmm. us play that. Exactly. So we're trying to solve a dang mystery by hearing things. Yeah, unheard the game about hearing things. Yes. <laughs> But you're hearing things that were previously unheard. Yes. Uh, because now you have this new device that lets you hear things from the past or something, I think is the gist you know of it. how it goes. Also, someone complimented my mug. Thank you. It's my Gundam mug. Yeah. Look at that frowny boy. Uh, we also got a sub from Velociraptor. Velaci Thank you. Velaci Raptor. Mm. Pardon me. Um, I see that everyone's got M's in the chat. Everyone's had their mold. Good. Had their requisite amount of mold before they got here, so that means their brains are operating Ooh, on yeah. peak efficiency. Mm -hmm. uh, Evil Pig Powers also subscribed and said, you two are funny. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I will say, oh, Killjoy Sam, it is their birthday today. Oh! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Killjoy bon Sam. Bon anniversaire, bon anniversaire. Who are you? 
Pistols O'Brien subscribed Pistols O'Brien. and said, love you guys. Love you too, Pistols O'Brien. Thank also, you. Also, if you're curious about Douglas Bugless, Who are you? Chicken Kinder subscribed. Douglas Bugless will be back. Yes. Sorry, the cats found us. We just we just uh, are doing a different game this time because mm -hmm. we missed a few Wednesday streams. I think Julie already said this, but I'll reiterate. We missed a few Wednesday streams, and so I was feeling unfair that I was playing every time you were streaming. I do appreciate that. It's very considerate. So I thought it would be nicer if, if we played on a night when we'd have 36% drop frames for Julia. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, put me on put me on the shitty night. Daddy twenty four subscribed. Thank you. Should we get in the game? Yes. Um, we might have to move the webcam. I'm not sure yet. We'll I had I had started that. to say something, and now I can't remember what it was. Ba, 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 ba. Don't remember. Um, it was something important. It was before I was going to it, before it was that person's birthday. It was important. Yeah. Was it important? Relatively. Oh, well. Do you really think it was important, though? Everyone, have your water with you. Is there anything we could say that's really that important? It's 2020. Have your water with you. I'm going to treat you all like adults. You should have water with you. I'm not going to do hydration checks. You know what I am going to do? Posture checks, because I got to check. I got to work on my own posture. So posture check. Who are you? Shoulders back. Ashley Taylor subscribed. Thank you. Thank you, Ashley Taylor. And Magister Entropy. Who are you? Let's game. I, Let's we, game. If we don't start gaming, I'm going to scream. Yes. Uh, if, you, if we need to turn up the desktop audio, which I think we're already going to need to do. Oh, I heard that the voice acting isn't the greatest in this game. Because it's not natively an American or English game. I think it's Japanese. I'll crank the desktop audio in a second so you guys can hear the voices better. Starby just gifted a tier one sub. Thank you pay you so attention much. to this in case it's important. I'll pay attention to Starby and the subs they may or may not be gifting. Next, who are you? We're going to show you a series of Baron Price, thank you so much for the sub. To tell us what you see, or more importantly, what you hear. Go ahead and pick up the tablet in front of you. Where? Do we I... wanna, let me turn up the desktop audio real fast, or if you'd like to. Like that? Yeah, that should be good. I suck at hearing, so everyone's going to be very frustrated with me. You're fine at hearing. I'm bad at sound puzzles. Think of this as sort of a game Meta. or a puzzle. Something to assess your interpretive and deductive skills. Sound like he was saying frog, frog, frog. <laughs> What the hell's going on around here? Frog, frog, frog! I will say that the voice acting is giving me big 999 vibes. Yeah. Uh, start the recording. Let's click the button. Let's go. State your name, please. Artie told you. Tyler. Oh, okay, so see. his name is Artie told you. <laughs> Already um, told you, Tyler. And the detective's name is Artie. Yes. Uh, click a sound source, then select the name you think matches the voice. So we know this is Tyler. Artie. Artie told you. Car is registered under the name Cameron. <laughs> Cameron? Are you in the chat, Cam? I couldn't hear that. Sorry, I was screaming. You're not the first person to mistake us for each other. We're twins. Except he's a big shot CEO. He was on a magazine cover recently. <laughs> I pulled your sheet. A repeat offender. DUI. Assault. It's the people I hang out with. Honest. I told the guys I shouldn't have been drinking, but they insisted. I swear, never again. Do you have anything else you'd like to come clean on besides the DUI? Uh, nothing I can think of. Why? Drugs, perhaps. Does that jog your memory? Wait, what? I don't know anything about any drugs. He's real good at keeping cool. Um, we need to either turn up the game volume or figure out a way to turn on subs. Ah, uh, yes. Well. They don't got no subs in this game? Apparently not. Unbelievable. I'm sorry. 
I really don't know much about this game. Don't turn it up there because then it's going to blast in our ears. I would like it to be a little bit louder in my ears. Well, you can turn it up then a little bit. And then let's turn it up here even more so. I think everything has to be overacted because everything relies on you very, getting like a very clear image. Yeah. We can okay. always turn it up more if we need to. Continue. I'm sorry for everyone who needs uh, subtitles. They would be helpful right now, but it doesn't seem to be an option. Okay, we're done for now. Wait here. Hey, what drugs, yo? What the hell's going on here? What drugs, yo? All right, we got to follow this ghost woman. Follow her. Don't let her get away. She's gonna go in this room and be like, my name's Cameron. I'm Marty. Oh, Marty. Amber. How'd it go? Pause it. So that's Amber. Amber and, is the color of her energy. And nice. It's the second time second I've made time this you made joke, that today. joke today. And that's Marty. Got him, locked him in. That's oh, is this be, Cameron? That's gotta be Cameron. That's gotta be Cameron. That's gotta be Cameron. All right, let's go. Asked him the basics. He said he didn't know anything. I figured as much. Follow me. I'll talk to him. Wait here. We'll need your signature for that affidavit. Of course, officer. I need to make a phone call anyway. Hmm, should I follow Cameron? So you explore. So we can go back and forth, I guess. Yeah. To pick back up parts we missed. Because they're going to go talk to Tyler about the drugs, yo! said something about drugs earlier. What was that all about? What's your name, son? Tyler. Same old story, I see. If you're Tyler, then who's the Tyler in the room next door? No! Oh! Let me ask you again. Who are you? All right. All right. Cameron. Cameron! Cameron! How dare you, Cameron? How this dare? isn't the first time impersonating Tyler, is it? If it was only a DUI this time, you might have been able to pull off your little stunt again. But seriously. <laughs> Sorry. Someone in the chat said Tyler and Tyler. And I was trying to think of a lawyer jingle. But for some reason, the only jingle that came to my head was the beginning of the Mentos jingle. Do, 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 Anyway, continuing. Tyler, Oops. Tyler, Tyler, <laughs> Tyler, 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 with Tyler and a Tyler. Tyler and Tyler. I really want to pin that on your brother, too. What drugs? We found a whole kilo in your trunk. That's impossible. Okay, I drink too much, but I've never taken anything stronger than aspirin. He had a bit of a Long Island accent. Stronger than aspirin. Stronger than aspirin. I want to see my lawyer. Finally, there's the magic word. What? Amber, let's go. You want to question him again once his lawyer gets here? He's done nothing but lie straight from the start. Whoops. But he didn't ask for a lawyer until now. The statement we got will hold up in court. Lawyer or no lawyer, we've got him. We've got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got him. All right, the other guy's Tyler. We know that now, too. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to go here to listen to this whole conversation. Oh, this is very yeah. interesting. Think there's more twists. Take a seat. Thanks. The tips you provided us have all been checked out. We've got the guy and the drug. I do like that it gets there's louder the closer you get, get to them. Why would you report your own brother? Because he's got to learn to take responsibility for his own mistakes. What do you mean by that? We're twins, right? What is this? Identical. He's been pinning his fuck ups on me ever since we were kids. But now. Got him. Oh, he's rich and famous. <laughs> and me? <laughs> <laughs> Who are we commenting for? I didn't realize it was scroll. Oh my god, that'll way. scroll by every time you go Aren't past you that area fun? now. And the, it's marked on your timeline. Take the fall for him. Yes. Until now, I mean. Because he's older, by a couple minutes. But as the second son, I was considered the spoiled brat. So it was my duty to protect the rep of the rightful heir to our father's business. I guess I always thought, what's the harm adding a few misdemeanors to my rap sheet? 
pretty generous for a spoiled brat. Don't believe me? Ask him. Fucker's probably still pretending to be me. All right. What All changed right. this time, then? <laughs> he racks up a couple moving violations? Fine. Whatever. But I ain't taking the fall for no drugs. That's some felony level shit. Don't you know he's got a kilo right of back. drugs? <laughs> All done, Marty. Oh. Yeah. Is there a way to get a higher resolution? That's unfortunately not up to me because we're not partners. So we can't determine what the resolution is. Mm. It's literally just whatever Twitch decides to give me that day, which is fun and cool. How'd it go? And I love it. Asked him the basics. He said he didn't know anything. Figured as much. Follow me. I'll talk. I feel like I want to. Asked him the basics. Like. Any level shit. Hold on. All right. I want to, like, go see what Cameron's saying at this point. But we're already done with the... What changed this time, then? He racks up with a the couple mystery. Violations. Uh, Tyler could be pinning it on Cameron. Damn. Damn, dude. Fine, whatever. But I ain't Because Tyler seems spiteful. That's some felony level Because he's just the second son, so That's he's jealous. True. Be right back. So we got to see when they're alone. Of course, officer. I need to make a phone call anyway. To be clear, we'll see what for, Tyler says when he's alone. For the person in chat who said we're dropping frames as it is, that's not because of our internet. That's because of something going on on Twitch's end. So the resolution wouldn't have an impact on that because we have very fast internet that I've just checked the speed of before we started. Yeah. And is running at full speed. So there's really no reason we should be dropping frames. We just are. Okay, so, because Tyler says he wants to make a phone call now. That's true. So let's hear, let's listen to his phone call. We gotta see what Tyler says. Yo, I'm at the police station. Can't talk much. Just want to make sure you get everything tied up. Yeah, shut that guy up for good. When? Now, obviously. Shut that guy, shit that guy <laughs> up. <laughs> shit that guy up for good, Julia. <laughs> Cops ain't that stupid. We're talking about a whole key here. Of course they're gonna trace the source. And the dealer can ID me, so hurry up. So it was Tyler. So it is Tyler. Tyler hid the drugs. Savage. Well, pulling the same old stunt as we speak. <laughs> I knew he'd try to blame me, but it's gonna backfire on him this time. Don't worry. He was already wasted when I popped open the car. Didn't notice a thing. The police are gonna nail him for possession and perjury. And when you finish this little errand, he won't even be able to offer up the dealer as part of a plea. He's going to jail, and I'm getting the business. Getting My the old business. Man can't and won't help him this time. Not after Cameron got caught with what he did. You'll get your cut after I take over his heir. Anyway, no Who are you? celebrating yet. Resident Don't Goblin you. subscribed. Thank you so much. Spoopy. What you gotta do. And call me back when it's done. Alright. Okay. So. Tyler hid the dregs. Tyler hid the dregs. So let's state your name. What drugs, yo? What the hell's going on? What here? drugs, yo? Come back here! What did you mean when you said... Oh, damn it. Okay, think, think. I paid my bar tab. Do you think I have enough time what to jerk off in here? <laughs> Before they get back? Better try. <laughs> <laughs> Full minute of that. Someone said this can't be this easy, can it? Um, It's the tutorial one, so I imagine that yeah, it is. Yeah, I imagine the tutorial one's pretty easy. Definitely had too much to drink, but I don't remember there being anything wrong when I got there. Ugh, I may have passed out for a couple minutes. Could somebody be trying to set me up? Maybe, but who? And why like this? Ugh, just stick to the story. As if I had another one. Tyler alone. <laughs> Tyler alone. If you're okay. Tyler, we know Tyler, Tyler, Tyler Let's in the room next it. door. Shit that guy up for good. I wanted to see my message scroll by. Shit that guy up for good by saying that Tyler done done do it. Yeah, we discovered the truth. You found the truth! Close the case! Close the case! 
The drug. <laughs> the drug. The drug. Whatever that is. The drugs who hid. <laughs> It is. You? All right. All right. Camera. We found a whole kilo in your trunk. Don't worry. It was all a waste of my popcorn. Do you remember all this? Do you remember when this happened? It all makes sense now. <laughs> I'm in my mind palace. I got it right, but now it makes sense. <laughs> so you believe that the twins swapped their identities? Yeah. Excellent. What do you mean believe? Detective. That's what they said. That's what they said. By this point, you've probably figured out you're reviewing a sort of surveillance recording. Thank you. Yeah. All of this data you is could say I'm a real detective. and processed by <laughs> what we're calling the uh, acoustic detective system. It's different it from the electric detective system. It allows you to freely navigate through past <laughs> events using captured audio. Ultimately, we're hoping to assemble a new investigative Now, we see you've taken a, a course on this, this detective. We we'll want to get the electric detective in. <laughs> What's up, bitches? To a strong I'm a solver case! <laughs> Shall we? How about something more challenging? It's a circle. It's two circles. Click on the ashtray. You didn't click on me. I tried doing that before, actually. This is the floor plan of a local art gallery. Oh, that's why it's a circle. The exhibition is about to Every start. Every art gallery is based around the Guggenheim. But the only thing on display is an empty frame. What, 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 what? <laughs> I'm a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who are you? Who are you? The one hypnotic. Thank you so much for the sub. Let's see how many people are around. Emily, we will DM you for the list of games from your, your list that we want. Wow, someone's... Thank you again. There's someone in every room. Much like Draw Detectives. Okay, let's listen. I hope York is here. Mr. Green? What brings you here? Mr. Green. Got him. I wanted to thank you in Ooh. person for... Uh... Sending me a photo of the Maestro's painting. I was going to say penis. <laughs> Sending me a photo of the Maestro's penis. I loved the, the picture of the penis. Exquisite. A dick pic. Highest form of art now. No, please. It's a penis portrait. <laughs> I apologize. Everyone is looking for a copy of the Maestro's dick pic. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, continue. A quality image. I could see all the fine details. <laughs> <laughs> all the fine details. I can't. I can't. I keep thinking it's a dick. <laughs> and every sentence he says going on just makes it worse. And woo me. Talk about a masterpiece. <laughs> Please keep your voice down. I sent it to you because you've been a good sponsor to this gallery, and I hope that will continue. But we're under strict orders not to show that painting to anyone. The threat of forgery alone. Who is this, huh? Ah, whatever. Ah, good luck to Oh, wait. I should probably mark that down, huh? Or phone ring? Yeah, phone, phone ring. Good luck to anyone who thinks they can copy the maestro's jig. Who are you? <laughs> Still. Straight razor smile. Thank you for the sub. There are those out there that would try. What? Phone ring. What am I, a freaking call center? <laughs> who are you? <laughs> Shut up. One bizarre me. Thank you for the sub. Very much. Thank you. Uh, Calm down. I get it. You know I only collect originals. The best of the best, right? I wanted to see it before the opening. And now that I have, I'm gonna buy it. Actually, about that, I... Well, I'm afraid that... Phone ring the third. 
Maybe you should just answer that, hmm? Go ahead. Uh, right then. Like I said, just swung by to say thanks for the sneak preview. You've probably got a packed schedule. I'll schedule. see you out there. Are we sticking with this bud? Mm-hmm. John! 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 Jason? Uh, Maestro. There. Maestro, we were just talking about you. We were talking about your magnificent wand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you and a certain member. <laughs> there you are. I was just looking for you. Is Green right outside the room? Yeah. What's he doing out there, a little pervo? I don't know, he's taking his phone call. The other day, by the way, truly a masterpiece. But when I just went to check on it earlier, all I saw was an empty frame. Your assistant said that's what you actually want to present. Could I ask the reason, if you don't mind? Oh. <sighs> Do you know why I picked as the a theme the lost art for this exhibition? Because I love uh, the fromage and the bread and the Eiffel Tower and uh, the moustache and the crepe. Outside, look at all those people staring at an empty frame. Thinking it is my actual work. <laughs> <laughs> my wow. <laughs> wow. But I'm I, not the maestro, I'm wow maestro. Sean, I will say, however, be our guest, be our guest. <laughs> Tell me, Sean, just how many works of art from young promising artists do you have in this gallery right now? I have worked for real beasts before. <laughs> you have to stop. Ten? Twenty? <laughs> you might as well have zero for all it is worth to these people. To them, this empty, pointless frame is more valuable than the actual art of all of these rising artists. <sighs> Tell them. Do people nowadays any taste. Hmm. You're not wrong there, maestro. But uh, that's pretty much how it's always been. <sighs> you are right, of course. The Renaissance elite, uh, they patronized the starving sculptors and painters. But it feels especially true now that art has become about who has more money whose name is more recognized. People have become nothing more than sheep with no opinions of their own. Call it performance art, if you wish. But this... <laughs> this exhibition was never about a piece of canvas. No, the truth is, I hired and instructed him to steal my painting and to sell it on the black market. If someone eventually recognizes my work, I will reveal everything, my entire scheme, and sign my name to it. Why, that's, that's brilliant. Just imagine the rush of people who'll be out searching for your painting. While it's true that they may just be in it for the money, They'll have to go through hundreds and hundreds of anonymous paintings if they have any hope of finding yours. Everyone's phone is ringing off the damn hook today. Wait, who's getting that phone call? Stop it. Hello? This is Crunchy. Thank you. Magnifique. <laughs> Finally, we can begin. Are you ready, maestro? Yes. Let us, uh, as they say, get this show on the road, huh? I am hopeful that after today, people will finally start to appreciate the art around them. As they search for the stolen painting, they will find much more than they bargained for. 
the true lost art. Shut up, and dog. Until my painting is found, this exhibition will continue. Someone's in the A brilliant room. plan. What once was lost shall be found, as they say. Precisely. <laughs> yes, yes, it's about that time. Shall we go? Onward and upward. Let us march. After you. Wait, do you think we should say a few more useless things? Oh, there you are, Maestro. The exhibition's about to start. The exhibition! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you could all be here today. I'm sure many of you have questions about the, well, empty frame you see before you, which is why, without further ado, I'd like to officially announce the commencement of the Lost Art Exhibition. Put your hands together for the maestro, Claude. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. And my warmest of welcomes to all of you here to see my work. Keep expecting this piece, to say my work. The latest piece has been an entire year in the making. However, it would seem a year is still not enough. No doubt you have already noticed uh, the empty frame before you. There's going to be a murder, and it's going to be me killing. Killing Maestro. Maestro. I am sorry to tell you, but my painting has actually been stolen. Oh! Silence! I, I have no doubt it's There were two people in the shitter. market. <laughs> My one regret is that I never signed my painting, nor did I take any photos of it. In fact, any anonymous painting out there on the market could, in fact, be my work. I hope that one day you will seek out the truth using only your eyes and, of course, your heart. And one, two, five, my two. 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 Director, the painting's been found. But what? Another one? Oh, it cannot be. So this is a thief. Oh, this is security. The lost art has returned. It's a miracle. Throw it in the trash. <laughs> Good God. Okay. So it seems like there's multiple copies of this painting. Somehow. Somehow. And is show is show back up at the end. Right. My art. My art. My painting. We live in a society. Oh, we live in a society. My art. My art. Alright, let's see who this book is. It's fun because you can be talking about your art or your heart. My art! My art! I'm having an art attack! My art is my art! Good news! I have a potential buyer. What? One I don't expect will require much convincing. Or ask too many questions. Quit worrying, it's perfectly safe. You know I don't deal with the real thing. Ever. But the others are none the wiser, and my position lends me plausibility. So, so she has nothing to do with it. Shut. Everything will be fine. Besides, I have complete faith in your skill. There isn't a single person who'll be able to tell your work is a fake. Oh, faker. Anyway, this was all his idea. This performance art the maestro orchestrated. As his assistant, I'd like to think I'm doing him a favor. And since he staged this whole thing himself, he won't get the police involved. That should put your mind at ease. Yes? I've already told you, the lost art. It's about more than just the theft and retrieval of a painting. Who are you? Who knows how many people are- Andy Pruitt. Andy Pruitt. Thank you for the sub. Going to get tangled up in this before it's over. Each of them playing their own special roles in the maestro's machinations without realizing it. You and I, well, we're just the first two actors in the play. 
But at least we're not improvising. Really. The more I think about it, the more genius it all is. Claude truly is a master. Anyway, I should go. I'm meeting the buyer soon. I'll call you back when I have our money in hand. All right? Have you arrived, Mr. Green? So, wait. Did she call him at this point? Because she hasn't been calling him. No, she's not been the one calling him before. But she was the one calling him this time when he's outside. Or was she just saying a name? Hold on. Favorite artist's assistant. Yeah. Okay. So they're talking. She's got a guy who's made a forgery of the painting. Right. And she's and... going to sell it to Mr. Green. Okay. So she doesn't have the real one, nor will Green have it. Yes. So? <laughs> 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 so that's gonna be my new entrance to every goddamn room from this point just throw open the door so god so true i hear <laughs> The maestro hired someone to swipe his work so he swipe. could replace an empty frame. Only he would pull something like that. <laughs> as soon as the painting surfaces, it's mine. And don't worry, I won't forget about your cut for helping me find it. It's my pleasure, but don't bother looking for it on the black market. That place is nothing but a cesspool of forgeries. What do you mean by that? The maestro may have his own plan, but if the painting's going to get stolen anyway, I figured I could do him a favor. Ta-da! Uh, you took it? When, uh, when did you nab it? The when is unimportant. What matters is that I have it. Uh, if you uh, excuse me for- Phone ring the fourth. For a moment, I have to take this. Should we follow him? I think we should wait with her. Okay. I imagine she's just like... In case she does anything. If she doesn't, we can go back and then follow Green. Yeah, I marked the fourth phone call. So. Yeah. Because right now she's just standing perfectly still, staring at a wall. Two. If this game were realistic, you'd be able to hear her swiping on her phone. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, go back. Important call, you know. Matches is that I have it. <clears throat> Get out here, Green. What's on your phone? I checked. It's a fake. I feel like an idiot for spending all that cash to hire a decent forger. out that one's fake too the deal's off forget about the rest of your money everything's sorry, fake sorry sorry important call you know sorry but anyway uh, i wanted to ask uh, you sure <laughs> it's okay i mean taking the painting behind the maestro's back and everything but that's exactly what he wanted isn't it for the painting to be stolen but instead of letting it fall into the hands of a two-bit thief who doesn't know a thing about art, I thought it would be safer in the hands of a true connoisseur like yourself. Don't you agree? You flatter me. And you're not wrong there. I'm a big fan of the maestro's work. I'm talking huge. So, rather than cutting you Huge penis poetry. Finder's fee. I'd like to offer a chance to buy it direct. Assuming the price is right. Well, I brought all the cash I could get on such short notice. You think this will be enough? Hmm. Was hoping for a bit more. But seeing as you're all Johnny on the spot, and in cash, too. You've got yourself a deal. Just remember, 
No selling for at least a year. Got that? This cannot be tracked back to me. Oh, don't worry about me. I understand all too well. After all, patience is key in my line of work. The longer I hold on to this painting, the more I'll be able to sell it for. Three years. That's my end game. Mock. Wizard Dad just said mock cock, and that's making me laugh. <laughs> it's a mock cock. It's a mock cock. And not a soul will know a thing about it until then. An expert as always. I should have known I wouldn't have to remind you. All right, the exhibition will kick off soon, if you'll excuse me. Go on ahead. I'll see you around. Well, we know what she does from this point ah, on, right? There you are, Maestro. The exhibition's you just about stand to start. There? Yeah. Ladies and Let's see what Green's up to. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so we don't know her name yet, right? No. I'm sure many of you have questions. I think it's security. Well, empty frame. Probably not. Before you, which is why, without further ado, I'd like to officially announce the commencement of the Lost Art Exhibition. Put your Put hands your together hand for the Maestro Claw. My arms! My arms! It's been stolen! Merci beaucoup! And merci! Green's on the move. Welcome to all of you here to see my work. This piece, my, my latest piece, has been the entire year. I have moved out to the end of the black market. So I guess the last thing with Green is that guy coming up and being like, it's a fake. And he's like, oh, it's a fake. It's all fake. Fancy me. What the? Mac. He just said Mac. He did. That's Mac. That's Mac and me. Green Mac. Mm. Would Green I still Mac. eat it? Green Mac. Green Mac. I guess it's moldy Mac at that no, point. It could be like a pesto Mac. It could be a Mac with a salsa mm. verde in it. Mm, yeah, I guess so. What do you mean you guess so? <laughs> I'm a chef. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Using Lucky what I got here. Uh, this is the real thing. And Pay up. I'm too fine. I've got me too. Director, the painting's been found. But what? Another one? Is it gonna be another, another one? The, uh, the lost art. Okay. The lost art. So, has been found. Um, Max, Max Poopin. Max the poo, the poopy boy. Max Poopin. If I hear one dookie, I'm out of here. Boom. Plump. Standing like the men's restroom oh. at our office. There's a phone call. What the fuck's he doing? Oh, so he's calling Green. Yeah. And Green's not answering. Shit, he hung up again? So Mac works for Green. Right? Yeah. Because he's also putting out fakes, right? Green seems to know that the ones he's looking at are fakes. He ain't going to answer. Damn it! Pick up your damn phone already! Hello? Why didn't you pick up? Did you bring the money? Hello? Hello? Hung up on me again? What's the checkout? Hello? God damn it! Who are you? Rx Bonanza. Rx Bonanza. Thank you for the sub. <laughs> okay, this game is very unrealistic because no one talks to themselves when they're in an empty room. 
No. And I talk to myself constantly. If I were a thief and I were in the bathroom, I wouldn't be like, why is he not answering the phone? Yeah. I'm trying to call the guy to sell the fake painting to. But there's not enough just like... <sighs> do, 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 yeah. Do. Just like... Oh, shit. Because you close like the wrong tab. So, I've been waiting. talking about of course the painting you gave me is fake but i swapped it with the real one in the storeroom wasn't that our plan all along so that one was also fake the one hello? in the storeroom hello God, what the hell Did someone beat me to it why don't i miss that So did the assistant actually have the real one? That's a good question. Yo, old man, I got the merchandise. Wait, what? And what about the rest of my money, huh? Hello? Hello? God damn it! That's nice. the sink. That's the sink. Nope, That's it's not. That's not a sink. He's peeing. Hey, you don't happen to have a light on you, do you? Hmm? What's that you got there? What? Hey, this is... Is that a copy of the Maestro's painting? I got one myself. Pretty good, huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, of course. Want a cigarette? Don't know about you, but I'm barely keeping it together. Before the 90s, you could smoke anywhere, but now? Sure, thanks. Don't mind if I do. Just two boys token up. <sighs> that thing smoke, right? I can finally think again. I swear they put restrictions on everything these days. Corral us out in the freezing cold in a designated smokers area, fifteen feet from the door. Smokers right. Like nobody ever took a drag in front of the Mona Lisa before they put it behind glass. You feel me? Uh sure. Yeah, I feel ya. God damn rules. I love not giving people the options to <laughs> destroy their own lungs. Wow, this is riveting. Oh, oh shit. Holy shit. Jesus. God. Oh, shit. Smoking smoke detector in the bathroom. Put it wake out. up, everyone. Put it out. Okay, wait. Time to wake up. Ouch. Watch it, man. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I, I panicked. Anyway, it was uh, nice talking to you. Here's your oh. See you around, yeah? Did he smoke on purpose to swap with this dude? I think so. Because he, like, bumped into him? Yeah. So now Mac might have the real one if this dude had the real one. Ah, oh, Christ. Silos! I, I have moved out to end up on the black market. Where are you going? I, uh, uh, forgot something I gotta take care of. Gotta split. You stop! Where'd you get that? You weren't holding it when you came in. I, uh, bought it from the gift shop? Oh, well. Wait, we don't have a gift shop. You stole it. Hand it over. <laughs> Jesus, fine. Take it. It ain't worth the shit anyway! The painting's been found! But what? Another way? So he took the fake off of what's his face. Yeah, because it seemed like Mac traded. Yeah. Mac traded in the bathroom, and so Mac had the real one at the end. 
That's what I'm thinking. But let's see what the maestro's doing in here. I'm going to put the real one in my pocket. <laughs> I shoved the real one deep into butthole. <laughs> this is art. This my is art. True art. <laughs> People love anything that artists shit out on the paper. Well, <laughs> now I am doing it literally. Where are you? What? You're lost? I told you it was A2, a round building. The exhibition will start soon. You must hurry. Hurry. Is it him? You will go straight to the storeroom. The combo for the safe is... Yes, well, you must not get caught. <laughs> I know, I know that, Tommy. That's why I hired you. Call Tommy. me when you're finished. So you think he's Tommy and that's Reeves? Yeah, I mean, he just called him Tommy. Yeah. So if he's not Tommy, that's a super weird thing to call him. You want to pause it and identify them? Yeah, he has to be in the room, apparently. I just meant you could have paused it and gone over to him. Oh, yeah, you're right. Stop. Damn it. This storeroom looks like a fucking hurricane ran through it. How the hell am I supposed to find the safe... Must be it right there. Let's give the old combo a try. Ha! And just like that, the job's done. Too Dead. easy. No wonder the old man ain't paying me much. Could have had me swipe a nicer painting, too. People these days will call anything art. Got him. All right, I just want to identify so this person. Didn't someone say they swapped? They swapped the one in the locker with a fake one. Didn't someone say that? Was it her? Didn't she say that at the beginning? I have complete faith in your skill. There isn't a single person who'll be able to tell your work is a fake. Who's the forger? We gotta figure out who she's talking to right there. Anyway. This was all his idea. This performance is Mac the Forger. The orchestra. We gotta figure out who she's on the phone with. Cause but Mac only calls Green, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, it's not him. Is it security? not security. Chill! I found the place! Ain't my fault all these she-she galleries look- It's not security. So, we need to go back to Reeves, because I think Reeves says that they- Lost art. It's about more than just the theft and retrieval of a painting. Who knows how many people are going to get tangled up in this before it's over. Each of them playing their own special roles in the maestro's machinations without realizing it. You and I, well, we're just the first two actors in the play, but at least we're not improvising. Really. 
The more I think about it, the more genius it all is. Claude truly is a master. Anyway, I should go. I'm meeting the buyer soon. What's at the I'll very call you back when I have our money attested. Good news. I have a potential buyer. One I don't expect will require much convincing. Or ask too many questions. Quit worrying. It's perfectly safe. You know I don't deal with the real thing. Ever. But the others are none the wiser. And my position lends me plausibility. So long as you keep your mouth shut, everything will be fine. Besides, I have complete faith in your skill. There isn't a single person who'll be able to tell your work is a fake. Anyway, this was all his idea. This performance art the maestro orchestrated. As his assistant, I'd like to think I'm doing him a favor. And since he staged this whole thing himself, he won't get the police involved. That should put your mind at ease. Yes? I've already told you, the lost art. It's about more than just the theft and retrieval of a painting. Who knows how many people are going to get tangled up in this before it's over. Each of them playing their okay, own so special she, roles in the- She has a fake. Yeah. She said she never deals with the real thing. What do we think Sean's whole deal is? Does he get a phone call ever? I don't think Sean gets a phone call. Afraid that we, we saw Sean through the whole thing. Maybe you the first things. thing through. Who is not is my old in. He just talks to everyone then walks out there. Let us mark. And then he's by the maestro the whole time. So it I seems like that be another one. The, the, the lost art has returned. It's so a... Tommy has it. Stomp Stommy. Stommy. Stommy stole it first from the locker. Right. And then Mac Swippy swapped it with Stami. But is this what we think? Was happened? it in the locker to begin with at all? It's unclear if I Reeves, mean in the in the safe. It's unclear if Reeves swapped it ahead of time. But it seems like she didn't, like she just has a good forgery that she's selling. Right. Sean seems really confused right here. And nothing else did you find my painting. Director, the painting's been found! But what? Wait, is it cannot be? What? what? The, uh, the lost art has returned. It's a miracle. Well, that's because Sean knew what the maestro's plan was. Right. The maestro tells him the whole plan. And Reeves never reacts, which is weird. She's not like, oh shit. Well, I don't think she ever had the the original. No, but she's selling forgeries. Yeah. Supposedly. I think we say Tommy stole it and then Mac has it at the end. And security has a forgery. Okay. That's what I think. All right. This is what I think. Let's do that. Can't hurt to try, right? Who stole the real painting first? Tommy. Tommy. Mac. Submit? This is what I think. All right. Let's see. All names marked correctly. None of them are correct. What? So I don't think it was in the safe to begin with. So then did Reeves take it first? You sure it's okay? I mean, taking the painting behind the maestro's back and everything. But that's exactly what he wanted, isn't it? For the painting to be stolen. But instead of letting it fall into the hands of a two-bit thief who doesn't know a thing about art, I thought it would be safer in the hands of a true connoisseur like yourself. Don't you agree? You flatter me. And you're not wrong there. I'm a big fan of them. Let's go to Mac. Let's see if he has taken it before anything. People are saying Mac stole it first, but didn't he have a fake?
It's waiting. Talking about, of course the painting you gave me is fake, but I swapped it with the real one in the storeroom. Was it? So Max swapped it. So Max stole it first. But it said neither of the names are correct. But they're not in the right position. Mm. Not our plan all along. Hello? Hello? How did I miss that? Someone beat him to it. So it must have been Reeves. Because that's the point where Green says that one was also a fake. When Green goes out in the hallway mm -hmm. to talk on the phone. Right. Let's see what Green says then at that point. Yeah, that, that's when he says that that one was also a fake. Yeah, but let's see if he names someone. I need to check things out first. This kind of research can't be rushed. Call me back in a few minutes. Ms. Reeves. Well, if it isn't my favorite artist's assistant. It's after he goes in and back out. See you soon. So, so. Yeah, here. I checked. It's a fake. I feel like an idiot for spending all that cash to hire it. Decent forger. So Reeves took it first. That's why she's not panicked when. I mean, that's all I can consider. And she says she never deals in the real thing, so she could still have it by the end. Does she? Does she mean when she says that she you? never deals with the real thing that she just like had it stolen and forged, and yeah. she never herself touched it? I, I think she also just, like, holds on to the real thing. But she like, says she's never had the real thing. Right. So she she said that it was somewhere safe, though, right? Right. You guys think it was Mac first? But Mac says, according to this, Mac never had it. He thought he switched it, but they were both fake. I think it's Reeves first. Hmm. Okay. People are saying Mac and security. So we can try Mac and security so you can all see that you're incorrect and that I am the only brain genius here. Shit! <laughs> okay, so, um, I guess. So Mac had it, and then Tommy took it in the mix up. I guess so. Well, we'll get a recap. Oh yeah, let's get this recap. Good news. I have a potential buyer. Worrying, it's perfectly safe. You know I don't do it with a real thing. Ever. So maybe, okay. You took it? You, you, when, uh, when did you have it? The win is unimportant. What matters is that I have it. I checked. It's a fake. What are you talking about? Of course the painting you gave me is fake, but I swapped it with the real one in the store. And turns out that what's fake too. The deal's off. Get up the rest of your money. Hello? Hello? What the hell? So you beat me to it? How did I miss that? Straight to the storm. The gamble for the save is 
Cool your jets, old man. You told me once before. I'm not gonna forget it. Yo, old man. I got the merchandise. Ouch! Watch it, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I, I panicked. Anyway, it was uh, nice talking to you. Here's your painting. Be around, yeah? You stole it! Hand it over! Jesus, fine! Take it! It ain't worth a shit anyway! Good work. All right. Looks like you're getting the hang of this. Looks like you're getting Before the hang of this. Further, Let's ignore all the I times you've tried other combinations and it didn't work. System does I'm have still potential confused, side but... Effects. For example, you may start hearing voices as the test continues. Why are you standing so close to us? Back up! There's Personal nothing space! To worry about, I can assure you. When the exam is finished, depending on the outcome, we'll provide any additional treatment you might need. Now on to the next scenario. To further test your abilities, we'll try a higher profile case. One I'm sure you remember from the news. Apparently Twitch was, uh, I'm gonna take a short break and talk to chat. Mm -hmm. Apparently Twitch was starting to have lag right on that recap. <laughs> the recap wasn't helpful though. It seems that like Mac had the real one, but Green thought it was a fake one. Because Green believed Reeves. Right. That Reeves had the real one, but Reeves was lying about having the real one. Right. So Mac did steal the real one, but thought he had a fake. Then he thought that Tommy had the real one. So, so he swapped it. And then Tommy got caught. And then security brought the real one back that Tommy then did have. Right. After the swap. So... Right, so <clears throat> she's saying she never deals in the real thing. She, she meant really that, meant yeah. she never deals in the real thing. When she said she never deals in the real thing, I felt that. <laughs> Where's my water? Here it I is. I put it over there because Olive was trying to get onto the counter. Olive's back there right now. You could probably see her above Jacob. Olive! <laughs> Olive's like dead asleep right now. <laughs> Boop! <laughs> Boop! <laughs> there she is, <laughs> a little girl. Wee. Olive! Where's Joy? I don't know, her gremlin child? I'm gonna go find her. Joy! Joy! Probably on the shoe rack. I'm gonna go get her ass. Joy's our little gremlin child. She's lovely, but she's a gremlin. She's obsessed with food. Jumping onto counters. Posture check time. Yes, thank you. Rooster Julia. Shoulders back. Back up straight. Maybe take a stretch. Over and over. Back forward. Roll your head. Back and around and around. She was sleeping on the shoe rack, you were correct. Yes. Is she not joining us? She was thinking about it. I think she'll be over here. Joy! I think she'll be over here. Given some time. Here she comes, I she hear a little bell. She coming. Where is she? Probably eating. Maybe she's not coming. We don't leave food out for them. Because um, our little gremlin child would not pace herself. She would just eat forever and ever. Yeah. So. Oh, posture. I'm gonna posture. sit like this. Yeah. Posture. Show off my pride rights shirt. Droppy says pride rights. Droppy says pride rights. Droppy says pride rights. Should we get back into it? Yeah, let's game. Let's. Let's game gamers. Game. Oh, so many rooms. There's popo cops the bombing outside. that occurred Whoa. last year at the central booking complex downtown. A gruesome tragedy in a crowded police station. Right. Twelve people, twelve victims. Ooh, no. Now, what's your take on this? Uh, it sucks. Yeah, it sounds bad. It sounds bad. Alright. Who brought the bomb? Who detonated the bomb? Look at all these these cop names: Chip, Sting, 
Tucker, Blade. <laughs> I read Dwight as Dwant. Dwant. <laughs> we got Dwant over here. We got Dwant. Should we move the camera somewhere? Maybe like right middle? It'll cover some of the names, but it won't cover the map that way. How's that working? I think that's probably better. The only names you're missing are Doug, Tucker, Cassidy, and Sting. 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 All right, let's listen. Joy is eating, by the way. I hear her. Yeah, she munching. She's munching. Hello, Sergeant. Ooh. Oh, hello, Sergeant. This is definitely... Chip. Martin. Hello, Sergeant. My it's, guess is Martin. It's, it's Chip here. Yeah. May I please have my phones back? Name? Dwight. Hello, oh, Chip. That's Dwight. Yeah, 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 you don't sound like a Dwight. You sound like a Dwent. I mean, he could be lying about his name. We learned that from that's the first true. case. That's true. People lie. Theft case, huh? Uh, no can do. Your phone's evidence in an ongoing case. So, uh, you'll have to follow procedure. Kitty, kitty. Kitty, 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 yeah, it's kitty time. Everybody now, kitty time. I said it's kitty time. No, oh, she's up. She's sniffing the mic. Everyone, listen to Joy ASMR. Maybe she'll purr and we can all hear it. Nope. Nope, there she goes. Nope. That's not the right orientation for that camera. There's a tail in your face a little bit. <laughs> Get, it's because she's drinking my water. Get, you have water. You have two, you have three bowls of it. <laughs> the tail. <laughs> right in the middle of the camera. Joy. Hello. Cat pet break. It's a kitty break. She remains on the desk. She's going for the water again. She literally has three bowls of water. Get, that's not your water. You have water. <laughs> She's like, um, but... You've got water. <laughs> Look at her stare at it. Joy, She's... you don't need this water. <laughs> don't put your hand in it. She wants it so bad. <laughs> she saw you guys. Hide. <laughs> Joy, please. Get your head out from under the monitor. That's just a controller. You don't need that. I know, I just have a tail in my face. Amazing. Great. All Amazing right. time. We need to make our camera a little sm smoother. Smoother. How's that? That's probably good, I imagine. Yep. All right, ready? I'm ready. But they're mine. <laughs> All right. What do I need to do? Who told you to come here? Ask them to write you a release form. An officer named Jessica. I need to go back to her. <laughs> officer Schrader. You working the night shift tonight? Schrader's behind the desk. Schrader. Officer Schrader, you dirty son of a bitch. You dirty son of a bitch. You dirty dog. Well, what you a surprise. surprise. I don't even have to bust you. Ridiculous. You still end up here. What do you do this time? You wound me. I'm nothing if not a law-abiding citizen. Just picking up a pal like a good friend. Well, hey there, Captain Martin. What are you doing here? Martin, get him. Get his ass. Tag him. Bag him and tag him. Now, Joy. Joy? She's moving the water so that she can access it, using her paw to get the water closer to her. <laughs> Please don't spill it. I have a lot of electronics here. Okay, well, she's put her paw in it, so this is hers now. Here you go. Just put this over here. Drink it over there if you really want to drink it. 
She she abides by the I touched it so it's mine rule system. Wow. Wow. This is still not great. <laughs> That's this is not great either. <laughs> okay, we're getting there. Nope, you're gonna have to angle that down a bit. Nope, that's the ceiling. That's too low. Why don't I fix it? Just need a little bit of height on that. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> she's giving she's giving the glass a gentle gentle touch. Gentle touch. Okay, let's keep playing. Got something to take care of is all. Well I'll be. Blade and Doug? How's life treating you guys? Shut it, you dumb. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> so those two are Blade and Doug. We can mark them as such and then reorient them if we need to. Okay. You're assuming Doug is the mean one? Not like you know me. You two, phones, wallets, and whatever you have in your pockets on the desk. Relax, Raider. We had a small fender. Fender. They're accompanying me so we can sort out the details. I can't believe this. Her head is fully in my water. Hi, Officer Schrader. You don't think you could ask around and see when Chip's gonna get released for me, do you? Oh, so you own the place you? now, do you? Find out yourself. Mickey, glad to see you. Officer, nice Mickey. to meet you. Mickey's at the guy we've been listening to. Rangutang. Rangutang, thank you for the sub. Rangutang. Thanks for the sub, Rangutang. Name's Mickey. Mickey Ocean. I'll take care of the paperwork, Schrader. Give this patient gentleman his phone. Yeah, That's Jessica. Beat it. Mark her down. Two. Joy's drinking Julia's water now. <laughs> She's hydration checking for sure. I can't. Jessica? Yeah. You drank so much of my water. Don't shove your paw <clears throat> in it. You know there's water in there. Of these, there should be another one. Two phones? You think you're daddy, Warbucks? By the way, could you tell me where the bathroom is? Inside, to your left. Good evening, officer. So sorry for the trouble. My friend didn't know any better. Whatever, Mickey the Sea Monkey, was it? Did you bring money for his fine? That I did. Right here. I need your signature. And try to keep your buddy on a tighter leash. Thanks, Emil. I'll see you around. Keep up the great work, rookie. <laughs> Tucker Cassidy, burn Wait. the midnight oil. Tucker's above him, and Cassidy. Mickey seems like he's here mm -hmm. all the time, but not a cop. Yeah, I don't know what I he's see. doing. And wow, who do we have here? Oh, shut up! I uh, never mind. A phone call. Who the hell's calling? This time of night. Cassidy, take our friend here to the interrogation room. I've got to answer that. On it. You. So Tucker's getting a phone call? Tucker's getting a phone call. Okay. Can, be... can I, I like edit? I think you can, yeah. What the hell's calling? But you closed it out instead. Whatever. Tucker phone call. Casual Mouse said, we just out here Cassidy, hollering names. Take our friend here to the interrogation room. Oh, she just ran into the mic again. Do you want to come back in my lap? Or do you want to keep causing a damn ruckus? <laughs> she drank so much of my water. That's her water. Uh, She's gone. I've got to answer this. On it. You, phone, wallet, everything in your pockets on the desk. Here's my phone. You can pat me down, too. Tucker handled that already. Just let him in. You get him back when you leave. Just came back to bring food. Why are you here? No, we should talk now. I'll come find you. Should we just stay with Schrader? Or? Let's stay with the Schrade. Let's stay with the Schrade. See what happens with a little shrady boy. Because Mickey's still not in here. Yeah. We can see what Mickey's up to out there. Hey, buddy. Oh, come on, it's me. Don't tell me you don't recognize your old pal. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, you gotta help me out. I'm in a real bind. Got arrested. Solicitation, yeah. 
Long story short, was on a business trip and got a little antsy. You know the feel. Uh, keep this between us, though, will you? I called because you're the only one I can trust. You've got to help me. Cops asking me for a grand to make this whole thing go away, else I'll be processed first thing in the morning. My own money? Think I have any? A dirty cop took my wallet. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here talking to you, now would I? Anyway, you need to wire the money to my friend's bank account. 165987-2626. Name's Mickey. Ocean. Yeah, I like the sea. Uh, you'll be doing me a real solid. A real solid. And I'll pay you right back as soon as I get out. 1,300 big smackolas. The extra 300's for your trouble. Uh, nah, nah, don't mention it. Friendship's worth its weight in gold nowadays. Uh, anyway, old copper's back. Catch you later. You really think it'll work, Mickey? He totally bought it. Patience, my friend. Patience. We'll get the money soon enough. Oops. Sorry about that. It's fine. You just stole that guy's phone. That was something else. Something else? I'll show... Stole Dwight phone. Mickey stole Dwight phone. Mickey stole Dwight phone. I'll show you something else. Uh, look at me, Chip, and tell me. What's a phone? Chip. You guys gotta try this thing. You, huh? Chip from This phone ain't worth Beauty squat if you're gonna just sell it. You make a lot of Beauty and the Beast references. Uh, because the only bad French accent. <laughs> More than just the phone, it's access. Access to the owner's... Nah, never mind. You're too stupid to understand all that. Wow. What did I tell you, huh? There's my Damn, money. Damn, Mickey, you the man! Damn, Mickey? I thought you were gonna say, Someone damn, Mickey, you're the man. Tonight. Go on, then. Give it a try. We've got a phone right here. I've got this. Huh. Weird. He's only got one number saved. Who cares? Just dial it. So... Oh, that's gonna make the boomy. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Finish it. Okay. So Dwight phone make boomy. Dwight phone make boomy, We also yeah. know who detonated the bomb. It was Chip. Oh, yeah. Well, we don't want to put that in now, but... Okay, we'll but we do want to keep that in mind. Nog nog noodle. Okay. He's my phone's back. Name, Dwight. So, yeah. we should follow Dwight. Yeah, let's follow Dwight. Death case, huh? Uh, no can do... Who told... Uh, you wound me. I'm nothing if not... Excuse me, officer. Sorry to have to bother you again. Come on in. you the devil. Uh, the desk sergeant wants a release form. Can you help? I'd really appreciate my things back. No problem. I'm almost done. You're lucky you aren't being booked. But you still gotta fill this out. No! For crying out loud, it's not like I went on a killing spree. There! Ta-da! Signed and dated. Can I leave now? Mm-mm. You two, we're going to reception. Gee, glad to see you. Officer, nice to meet you. Name's Mickey, Mickey Ocean. I'll take care of the paperwork, Schrader. Give this patient gentleman his phone. Yeah, now beat it. I lost two of these. There should be another one. Two phones? You think you're Daddy Warbucks? By the way, could you tell me where the bathroom is? Inside, to your left. Good evening, officer. So sorry for the trouble, my friend. Time to take a big duker. A big daddy Who duker are you? in the toilet. I love to do massive poopies in the bathroom. Admash poor. Thank you for the sub. Oh, phone call. Tucker phone call. <gasps> Tucker phone call. He calling Tucker. Dwight call Tucker. Tucker, listen to me, poopy. God damn it. Who are you calling at a time like this? Answer the fucking phone. <laughs> While I'm here, make a poopus.
<laughs> my Dwight was very convincing, apparently. He's just reminding me of um, what's his face in that alien movie. Who's the Michael Fassbender? Michael Fassbender in the alien movie. I never saw that movie. He's a synthetic He's in covenant. Feels weird for me to just be standing this loomingly yeah, over someone. There's the bathroom someone. ghost. Dwight, do a call. Dwight, do a call. Yeah, Tucker was talking to someone else. That's why he couldn't reach him. Mm -hmm. Do you think he's calling Tucker again? Probably. Did he flush the toilet? What was that? I think he just flushed the toilet, yeah. Maybe he was pooping this whole time. Beautiful. Why do you even bother? Oh, shove it already. You took the kids. Well, let's try to limit our alcohol next time, maybe. Soon enough. Oops. Sorry about that. Okay. <clears throat> so. So Dwight... Let's fight. Let's follow Tucker next. Yeah, because Dwight didn't detonate the bomb. I mean, he he didn't bring the bomb in. Right. Tucker. Tucker. Fine. This time we fight. Cassidy, take our friend here to the interrogation room. I've got to answer this. On it. You. So Dwight's not who he's talking to right now, though. Your pockets on the desk. Because he didn't answer. Here's my phone. You want to pat me down, too? Tucker handled that already. Just let him in. You get him back when you leave. Doug? Just came back to bring Sting in. Why are you here? He's talking in Wait, Doug. Sting, pause. No. Go back. That was Sting? That was Sting. He's just an illegal alien in New York. Poor Sting. Is that's a reference to something? That's a Sting song. Oh. I'm an alien. I was thinking of Sting the Wrestler. I'm an illegal alien. To bring Sting in. Why are you here? No, we should talk now. I'll come find you. All right, he's going to go find Doug. Go talk to Doug. Go speak to Doug. Oh, but Jessica's in there. Damn it, Jessica. Jess, I'll take it from here. But Captain Martin told me... Like I said, I'll take it from here. Hmm, understood. Okay. <laughs> I'm just a woman in a place of work. Let's talk in my office. Major smoochy times in my office. Take a seat, please. Now, what the fuck are you doing here? That idiot Blade okay, hit a so he's not calling Tucker. That buffoon Martin mm -hmm. arrested us. He's just trying to give us a hard time. Martin's always been trouble. You think he heard something? Not that it matters. I've got everything under control. Picked up Sting and Kent to clear the way for you to take over. Who'd have thought, huh? All three of us in the same police station. Those two behave. Sting didn't even try to run. Sounds just like that old fox. Kent? Kent. He... He couldn't run, even if he wanted to. What do you mean by that? I went to the Mountain Hotel earlier to case the place and found Kent in a VIP room. Sucker was already three sheets to the wind. So that's Kent who's in there. So mm. I had him booked for public intoxication. No shit. Huh. Why'd Kent get there so early? You think the boss told him before the rest of us? I didn't see anyone else there. What's your boss look like? <laughs> nice try. Only us three have ever seen our boss in the flesh. He likes to keep a low profile, you know? I wasn't trying to trick you. Just curious, is all. Yeah, but something's off. 
I've seen Kent drink for years, yet I've never seen him drunk. Not even once. Looks pretty sauce to me. Didn't even wake up on the ride over. Who are you? Must have had himself a whole bottle. Or five. Yeah, well, this guessing game won't get us anywhere. You keep an eye on those two there, will you? We can't let anything go wrong now. I'm gonna go see the boss. Okay, I'll see you out. So, Evans Varis, thank you for the sub. Thank you for the sub. So the one Jessica's taking right now is, oh my god, oh my god, is Kent. Okay, yeah. So, Tucker is in a plot to do something. Yes. With, it, it like, doesn't the mafia? Seem, it doesn't seem like it's this, though. Yeah. Because none of them are talking about a bomb. Right. Wait, keep playing to the end. You know, for a fact, my test came back clean as a whistle. Yeah, yeah, don't push it. Broke or not, you still hit a government Why vehicle. Why are you here? So... Hmm. What? There's just like a lot of noises at the end there. That are interesting. Whistle. Yeah, yeah, don't push it. Drunk or not. Yeah. You hear. Hear so it has to be on someone here. It has to be like the, the phone has to be yeah. on someone's person. Well the bomb. Yeah. Yeah. The bomb has to be on someone's person. Yeah. And it sounds like someone's walking with like a cane or something. That's Kent. Right, okay. Um, I want to know more about, about old Chip. Because isn't Chip and... Dale, rescue rangers. They're working with the other shady dude. Doug. Chip and Dip. You broke the law. What? Doesn't surprise me that you're a rookie. All right, Nobody but knows about it. I have some... Chip is being set up, right? I don't know. Go to the beginning. This on night patrol. You. Uh, at the very <sighs> end, sorry, if you pause it. Done. It was. At the very end, Dwight was saying, "It seems I misplaced it again," meaning the phone. Mm. That's what he said when he was at the desk. And then the bomb goes off. Just a phone. Guy didn't even want to press charges. But you brought me in anyway just to hit me with some outrageous fine for petty theft. You broke the law. What? Doesn't surprise me that you're a rookie. No one else about it. I had something like this on night patrol. You're wasting everybody's time. I think you stole just a phone. about enough of you. Thankfully, you won't. I didn't say he stole a phone. No, didn't he just say he stole a phone? I didn't hear that. Well. <sighs> Are you done? It was just a phone. It's just a phone. It's just a phone. So Chip has a phone. Chip Chip stole a phone. Chip has a phone at this at this juncture. It could be the bomb phone. If there if the phone is a bomb. Guy didn't even want to press charges. But you brought me in anyway just to hit me with some outrage. Guy didn't even want to press charges. Did someone steal Dwight's phone? I mean Dwight is here looking for a phone. For so, both of his phones, yeah. So it seems like that's probably what happened. So Dwight is the victim here, but Dwight is also connected to the bomb. Well, Dwight, yeah, Dwight had the, the phones, and it seems like one of them is a yeah is the detonator. Just fine for petty theft. You broke the law. What? Doesn't surprise me that you're a rookie. No one else about it. I had something like this on night patrol. You're wasting everybody's time. I've had just about enough of you. Thankfully, you won't be my problem much longer. Somebody paid your ticket. I'm in no hurry. Though can't say the same for the guy whose phone I pinched. He looked like a real complainer. Come on in. Well, speak of the devil. Yeah. Uh, so Chip stole Dwight's phone. Wants a release form. Can you help? I'd really appreciate my things back. No problem. I'm almost done. You're lucky you aren't being booked. But you still gotta fill this out. No. Oh, for crying out loud. It's not like I went on a killing spree. There. Ta-da. Signed and dated. Can I leave now? Mm-mm. You two, we're going to reception. Make 
Mickey! Glad to see you. Officer, nice to meet you. Name's Mickey. Mickey Ocean. I'll take care of the paperwork, Schrader. Give this patient gentleman his phone. By the way, could you tell me where the bathroom is? Any for his fine? That I did. Right here. I need your signature. And try to keep your buddy on a tighter leash. Thanks, Emil. I'll see you around. Keep up the great work, rookie. <laughs> Doctor Cassidy. We still follow Jessica? I think so. Because we know what happens to Chip. He just goes yeah. outside and talks to Mickey. He goes outside with Mickey and then they scam that person and... And then they steal Dwight's and phone they still again. steal Dwight's phone, yeah. Again. Again. I guess Kent is snoring. Yeah. Jess, there's a man in the conference room. Go in there and stall him for as long as you can. Conference room? Why? What did he do? Car accident. A fake car accident. Only it didn't seem so fake to him. And I need you to keep it that way. Do whatever you need to do, just don't you let him first. leave. Roger that. Word on the street is, Raven's in town. So everyone stay vigilant. Raven? Raven? I don't have all the info, but I'll fill you in once I have more. Raven's in town. So Doug has a fake car accident. He's also connected with Tucker. What's your name? Uh-uh. Hey, babe, you knew. Jess, I'll take it from here. But Captain Martin told me. Like I said, I'll take it from here. This is what she's getting. Yeah, she's getting yeah, shit on. <sighs> so now she's going to go talk to Kent. After a little bit here. Wait. Is Dwight calling Kent? So Dwight's call goes to Kent. Dwight's call goes to Kent. But he's asleep. But didn't Tucker say that he planted something on Kent? Tucker said he brought Kent in. Yeah, but he, like, because something's off, like, he's actually drunk, which is rare, and he was, like, well, because he brought Kent, Kent in and, like, also pinned something on him, right? Well, he brought Kent in and he brought Doug in, so he brought all these cohorts in for whatever reason, but we don't know what the reason is. I'm gonna state that it was number two. You spelled Kent wrong. It's Kent. 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 Where is this place, huh? Oh, fuck, I'm in lockup. Damn, I missed the phone call. The phone call. Everyone's always missing each other's calls. Well, because is Dwight doing <clears throat> something else right now? No. Hold on. Where is... Okay. Damn, I missed the phone call. Because Dwight's calling someone right now. Yeah. But Kent is also calling. What? What's... Because Dwight's also on the phone. Well, he's trying to. So maybe that's why he's missing Kent's call. Yeah, but who's Dwight calling? Oh, yeah. Why is Dwight calling everyone? Hello? Anybody here? Anybody still breathing? Well, would you look who's awake? Quiet in there. Hey, come on! Let me Someone out. else to be an asshole to me. What are you in me? for, huh? Let's see. Public intoxication. Beautiful. Why'd they even bother? Ah, uh, shove it already. Just open the gate. Well, let's try to limit our alcohol next time, maybe. I didn't even have that much. How come I passed out? Somebody slipped something in my drink. I still feel groggy. 
Yeah, yeah, I've seen plenty of guys like you, all claiming they didn't drink that much. Jesus. Sure, I'll bet you were totally dry in college or whatever. Having trouble walking straight. Ooh, legs a bit heavier than I remember. See, more proof that you shouldn't drink in your condition. This way, let's get you released. Do you have a pig leg? Yeah, he's got some kind of fake leg. Oops. But his phone, no one's phone like rings. Well, I guess if it's the first ring, it would just blow up. Never mind. Blow up? The phone, like. Yeah. I was looking to see whose phone rang, you know. I think it just blow up. I think it just blowed up. It's true. After he pulls off a major heist, he wipes okay, out those we've this. gathered on him, suggests he eventually kills anyone who's seen his face. That ex You trying to see who whom's T calling? Why is that? Earlier today. Who could it be? Well he because he's talking to Mickey? Some Mickey was on the phone with someone. Wait, I just heard it. Go away, else I'll be processed first thing in the morning. My own money. Was it Schrader? Schrader phone ring, but Kent also call. That geezer's phone is ringing. The geezer's phone is ringing. So Dwight, so Schrader. Dwight must be calling Kent at the same time Kent is trying to call Dwight. But remember, someone came in and gave up their phone to Schrader when they came in. So Dwight could be calling whomever's phone is left on his desk. I thought Kent was the geezer, but maybe one of the, maybe Blade or Sting is also a geezer. I mean, it could be Kent. Let's see. It did, it was like Blade or someone who had to give up their phone, right? Tucker handled that already. Just let him in. You get him back when you leave. Sting? Answer this. On it. You, phone, wallet, everything in your pockets on the desk. Here's my phone. You can pat me down too. So Sting gave up his phone. Sting gave up gave up his phone, so it so could be Dwight Sting. Maybe trying to call Sting. Can we follow Sting? Yeah. Tucker handled that already. Just let him in. You get him back when you leave. Speak to him. You wanna pat and me down you too? Do, you. do whatever you need to do. Just don't. You go first. I wonder if I have enough time to jo in here. <laughs> <laughs> I did. We have to listen to it for way too long. Me, Sting. What are you guys trying to pull, huh? Hmm. I mean, setting up roadblocks and arresting people for no good reason. Tucker gave the order earlier today. He didn't explain anything, and I had no idea he was trying to catch you. What's this Tucker up to? Now that you mention it, Tucker has been acting strange lately. Before he brought you in, he was up at the Mountain Hotel. Picked up a drunk. Guy's still lying and holding. Mountain Hotel? What are the odds? What's that drunk look like? Like any other dirty drunk. Had himself a good limp, though. His leg, was it prosthetic? And uh, did he have a scar on his right eye? And how do you know all that? You know the guy? Interesting. Doug's behind this, no question. Doug? Why's that? Earlier today, our boss informed us he was going to choose his successor. Only me, Doug, and Kent have a shot, really. Now Doug asked Tucker to lock me and Kent up. It's so obvious. He wants to make sure he's the only candidate. Damn, you're telling me that drunk was an underboss? He took a bullet for the boss. That's how it... So Tucker is helping Doug become the new mob boss by locking up Kent and Sting. Yes. Okay. Is Dwight the boss, do we think? He lost his leg. I don't know, because who stole his phone? It was Chip, right? Yeah, Chip stole his phone. So maybe it's, he's just not... Well, he has to be related somehow. Because well, he's calling thing. Kent. Yeah. And then he was calling Sting. Yeah, that's true. That prosthetic leg of his? That's a gift it seems like it has too. to be Dwight. Got anything else for me? I gotta get to that hotel. Actually, there is something else. I just heard from Martin that it's highly likely Raven's about to resurface. 
Raven? Get out of here. If Martin said so, there's got to be some truth behind it. You've heard of Raven, too? Only rumors. Word on the street is Raven kills anyone who gets a look at his face. Once he's made enough money, he runs off and gets himself a new identity. <laughs> no one even knows what he looks like. Holy shit! That's cold, man! Don't tell me you're Raven. If I was him, you'd be the first to go. <laughs> Just cut this bullshit and get me out of here. Come on! But what am I gonna tell Tucker? Uh, let me worry about him. So... Is Raven. Mickey Raven? Mickey. Oh, Mickey, you so fine. You so fine. You Mickey, Mickey Mickey getting his money right as he's saying he gets enough money and changes his identity. And no one knows who he really is. And this guy's calling himself Mickey Oceans. That's true. Um, He could be Raven, yeah. But he doesn't seem very, like, cutthroat or violent or anything. He just seems like a big doofus. But he's, yeah, maybe he's doing an act. He's also, like, in the, the police precinct all the time. He knows everyone by name. Yeah, that would be the least they would suspect. That's true. I think Dwight's the boss. Okay. Because he's, he's, why else would he be calling them? They clearly haven't, like, spoken to Raven. Right. So they don't know who Raven is. So... I think Dwight is boss. Okay. But Mickey is Raven. Maybe. I mean, we haven't talked... We haven't listened to Martin and Blade yet, so... We gotta listen to Martin and Blade. Okay. Martin. We gotta listen to this Martin Blade yeah, yeah. convo. It was just a car accident, Captain. Did that really require bringing us all the way in like this? I got somewhere I need to be. Yeah, are you picking on Doug? Quiet, both of you. Are you picking on Doug? I'm doing this by the book. And now that we're back at the station, I'm gonna make you take another breathalyzer. We blew at the scene and it came back negative. What more do you want? You gonna let us go or not? Congratulations, loudmouth. Who You're are you? first. Follow me. Sky you Griffin. Stay right here. Thank you for the sub. And Jessica goes in there and Tucker yells at her for no reason. Yeah. What the hell were you thinking? Hitting a police car? Did it ever occur to you that it might blow your cover? I had to act fast. The info I've got is crucial for my investigation. Raven's going to show up tonight. So Bleed is undercover cop. Unless no blades part of the the evil goof troop, isn't he? Yeah, he's un, he's he's a he's the he's a the mole. Okay, keep, keep playing. He's keep undercover playing. Keep playing. Keep playing. in the in the bad boy group. Keep playing. What? All right, I want you to tell me everything. I'll send someone to keep Doug busy. I've sent someone in to stall Doug. Now tell me what you know. But make it quick. That car accident you staged won't buy us much time. Yeah, Doug was already getting suspicious. Okay, how much do you know about Raven? I've heard all sorts of things. Some of them are so Hollywood blockbuster, I'm not sure what to believe anymore. I've been undercover as part of his organization for two years. Everything you've heard about him is true. After he pulls off a major heist, he wipes out his crew and gets a new identity. Remember that cargo freighter? The one that blew up in the harbor? Raven's doing. Got what he wanted, murdered his guys, and scuttled the ship with a remotely detonated explosive. Mm. All the info we've gathered on him suggests he eventually kills anyone who's seen his face. That explains why I can't find a single person who knows what this psycho looks like. Maybe that's why... So cause... Dwight might be Raven. Well, no, well, yeah, maybe. He has the detonator for the bomb. Yeah. That's true. It's his phone. That's true. I was thinking maybe it could be Mickey because everyone here knows Mickey's face and he just got a Mickey, bunch of money and he's trying to kill everyone who's seen his face. Mickey doesn't have the detonator. It's Dwight's phone. Right, but he steals Dwight's phone. 
Yes, but why would Dwight have a bomb and a detonator if he wasn't the Raven to blow up the people? It just said the Raven blows up people. Maybe who's on his he's team. up to some shenanigans. <laughs> Dwight has got to be the Raven. Chip detonated the bomb. And then. Because they were all talking about how they were supposed to like meet at the hotel with the boss. So I think that Dwight intended to blow them all up there. Doug and, and Kent and mm -hmm. Sting. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I wouldn't be able to positively ID. Maybe he has a bomb because he's just a, a head honcho guy and he's trying to kill, you know, the subordinates because they're trying to off him or whatever, take over. But it said the boss was looking for a successor. Uh, not one of these three chuckle fucks. So you're telling me that they just went out of their way to say the Raven uses bombs to blow up people who've seen his face? And then it's just yeah. a coincidence that Dwight has a bomb and blows it up to kill people who've seen his face? It could happen. That's what you're telling me? It could happen. Uh, people are saying Kent has the bomb. Mm. The Raven, if he was standing right in front of Because it's true, Kent was but drugged. This precious pattern yeah. this means anything, we That's what I'm thinking. We might him tonight. He's made so who brought the bomb? Technically Kent. Kent brought the bomb. Who detonated Chip it? Detonated Chip. The bomb. Dwight is the Raven. You think Dwight's the Raven? This is my call. Okay. Let's. We have to try Operation Jacob first. Who brought the bomb? Kent. Kent. Who detonated the bomb? Chip. Chip. Who? Who is the Raven? Dwight. Dwight. Yay! Now I'm a brain genius again. Brain genius. Close the case. Oh, we gotta recap now. I think the boss told him before the rest of us. Yeah, something's up. I've seen Kent drink for years, and I've never seen him drunk. Not even once. Trouble walking to me. Ooh, legs a bit heavier than I remember. Remember that cargo freighter? The one that blew up the So Dwight was a mob boss and the Raven? I think so. Guys, he was like, ship. I need to avoid detection. What's the best place to avoid detection? The mob, being a mob boss. Oops. Sorry about that. Oh, something else? Who's? Who cares? Just dial it. He's made himself nothing short of a fortune running rockets in the city the past few years. So when he calls him to involve his associates up at the Mountain Hotel, I'm guessing he's looking to tie up the sentence. I was at the Mountain Hotel. Shot outside. Stole the phone right out of his pocket. I didn't realize that lady cop was standing there watching me the entire time. God damn it, who are you calling at a time like this? Answer my fucking phone. Wow. There you have it. Does it strike you as odd that these situations seem to be full of coincidences? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. I meant great job. Is that what you meant? Sorry, I meant through these ignore the fact that I just said an entire sentence to you. Them. Very calmly. All right. On to the next one. Tell me, detective. Do you enjoy the view? So? so? We don't have time for another case. What? Because the stream's almost over. I want to see the beginning of it. You want to see the beginning of it? I want to see the beginning of, of okay. the case. Okay, I mean, we got four minutes. You can look at it. I'm enjoying this a lot. It's a really cool game. I like it. It has some very silly voice acting. But... Sidon! Four eyes. Slim. And then we have Blake and Ashley. <laughs> we just got married. We're 19. <laughs> We've been dating since high school. Our families are both rich for different reasons. I was gifted a house. I mean, I worked hard for my house. Got a nice... Nice balcony. 
Balcony. Balcony. Big Yonic Energy suggested playing Telling Lies, which I do want to play. That's the one from the Her Story people. Oh, yeah, we should. The new, the new one from Her Story people. Yeah. And I really liked Her Story. So I would like that a lot. Thank you mm-hmm. for listening. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd be down to play more of this game if people were into it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's nice because it's, like, episodic. Yeah. So if we played it again next time, no one would be, like, missing any crucial info. Right. And I also feel like people in the chat can play along, too, which is fun. Yeah. Um, so that could be fun. That could be fun. We could be, we could be fun. I don't think so. Anyway. Uh, this was unheard. Uh, we could play it again. We just dropped more frames. Nice. Hopefully next time we play it, won't we won't be dropping frames and we can be at a higher resolution than 480p or whatever. That would be lovely. Which would be super neat. Yeah. Um, but thanks everyone for hanging out with us. This was a good time. Yep. And, uh, we'll be back again with more video games. Yes. More videos games. More videos games. Douglas Bugless will return to continue his Pokemon bug. Did you say Wednesday at 8? Join. Pokemon bug join James. Wednesday at 8. Video James. Wednesday at 8. 8. Pokemon champion bug Doug. Wednesday at 8. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow on Drawfee Stream. Goodbye. Goodbye.